Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your mid-July 2019 general reading. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Aries who views the video. But if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Thank you to those who have done so. It means a lot. Um, let's jump into this. Aries, in the pre-shuffle, it looks like there's someone who wants to make an offer, but this is a person who either had you or has you in a third party situation it looks like they want to end that third partiness and they want to choose you uh now this is not something that happens overnight granted because this person may have a family they have assets with this person they have this they have that they have to go through a proceeding some of you are going through divorce proceedings and you're waiting for that offer in regards to what um maybe the ex will pay you or what you need to pay them or vice versa however that's structured and then you have someone that you're really interested in looks like an aquarius person could be doesn't have to be uh or a gemini libra aquarius uh who you uh you want to um make something happen with you want to have a relationship with or you just you definitely have your eye on this person or vice versa they have their eye on you uh, it looks like a Cancer Pisces Scorpio wants to come in and make some offer, but they come with a lot of issues. All right, so let's get into it. Aries, it looks like career is going well. Some of you may have had a job change or career move, or you may be uh, embarking on that, you know, kind of doing the seeking and finding type of energy right now just trying to gain more knowledge about maybe a, a, an upward move or a, an outright change okay areas you have the world yes nice nice if an answer yes or no answer is what you're looking for the answer is yes it says that there's a level of maturity that has been cultivated that has been achieved here with the Aries you could be dealing with a fixed sign um, what Scorpio Leo Aquarius Taurus if not it just says that now you're ready to go on to the next phase in life something has completely ended it's over it's done it's the past and now you get to uh, write the next chapter of your life uh, with a renewed sense of you, uh, with a renewed sense of maturity or a level of maturity reached or achieved. Uh, Nine of Wands after the World card, it says that you have separated yourself from the fight, from the drama, from maybe the trouble in, in, ex in a relationship. Uh, you have gained awareness this is you um you're looking on onward to the relationship and saying do i really want to go back into this you may even be doing some traveling um you may be like i said seeking and finding some cross-cultural type of reference learning um spiritual law uh religion um just really cultivating yourself right now and the separation from uh, gaining a lot of clarity and knowledge um the five of swords then here comes the past reinserting itself or inserting itself into the future um the five of swords talks about interference there's something that crops up from the past and and wants you to deal with it which is could very well be this uh, I laugh because we just talked about it could very well be this Cancer Pisces Scorpio who's coming with uh, messages of love and likeness and um, you know sweetness they're coming back at the bottom of the deck I have the King of Cups so it could be uh, definitely Cancer Pisces Scorpio they're coming in with communication as a page this is a person from your recent past you may be separated from or have been separated from 
and now they want back in uh, let's see what they have to offer what does this cancer pisces scorpio have to offer or any sign furthermore uh four of cups they are discontent bored with what they have created the roots the foundation that they have created in their life they are uh, discontent dissatisfied they hope that you take to their cup you on the other hand don't know if this is the three of cups once again or if this is an exclusive cup given to you uh, but do know that the offer comes out of boredom dissatisfaction discontentment and whatever they have built for themselves a life they have built for themselves some stability quote unquote that they have built for themselves uh, Knight of Pentacles we did see that in the pre shuffle off camera this person maybe they get it maybe they get it now they want to offer something that has is has been long time coming you have been dealing with this person you've been dealing with the situation they should have offered you this in the first six months they knew that they wanted this with you but they didn't but this is an accomplished night he will accomplish whatever it is that he or she has set to accomplish so they want to get in it and they are long time coming so this person um, may have wanted to give you this offer of let's let's be a real couple let's be boyfriend and girlfriend um i don't want to go too far as to say let's you know get engaged but they could very well be that let's keep going but this person wants to offer what they never offered before so if you've been in a full-on relationship with this person maybe this reading i i don't want to be so you know fast to say it but maybe this reading is not for you this is for someone who has been dealing with a particular person who just never really offered much nothing but fun time sex um you know a level of intimacy knowing that they love this person but never really offering anything substantial okay so let's keep going Definitely could be a Cancerian person. We have the Chariot next. We have the Three of Swords. That came out in the pre-shuffle too. Justice. Some of you are divorcing. Some of you could be divorcing a Cancer. Or you could be separated from. Or there was infidelity in dealing with a Cancerian person. Sun, Moon, Rising. Uh, it looks like this person wants to get back into control of the relationship the marriage or the contract the soul contract i'm hearing that they have with you because it ended it ended in um a division this person may have been divided within their heart and their mind so they decided to give to two parties you and someone else uh this person may come back with apology good advice um they come back to repay the debt the debt that they the debt is the hurt the the pain the drama at this point they can't get you out of their mind they, they can't stop thinking about you they also may still be partnered to a particular person who there's nothing but negative thoughts in regards to this relationship and they at this point they don't see a way out because everything is shared shared resources shared home loans inheritance car um, so they have to really do some pre-planning in regards to getting out of whatever they got themselves into. So do know that they, they do want to offer something substantial, something they never offered before. Yeah, they want to right the wrongs. They want to bring balance. They want to, uh, they feel like there's an equal give and take with you. They want to be giving equally and taking from you equally, equally. Uh, they want to have a new start with you the full card um, they are relinquishing something from their past they're going through a major upheaval um, decision here they're optimistic about maybe the choice that they're making here with the six of pentacles which is you they may be rushing in rather quickly or rushing away from um, some structure 
union, marriage, rather quickly. This could be a Taurus person. Um, wow, this is this could definitely be a cancer. We got two horses here. They want to come in and speak to you about everything they haven't said to you, everything they never said to you, everything that they held back, everything that's going on with them. They don't want to um, have you in that delusion period or uh, in that period of not knowing. They want to give the truth, the whole truth and nothing but it. They understand that you guys are different, uh, and, and, but they still want to be with you. They understand that... Um, they get it now. They had. They probably were denying exactly how they felt about you at one point too. Like I said, knowing that they loved you, they liked you, they wanted to give this Knight of Pentacle offer a long time ago, but just took forever in doing so. They want to tell you that you make them absolutely very, very happy. Ten of Cups. They can't read you though. They don't know where you are. They feel blindfolded in regards to you and your energy. But they don't know. So the not knowing keeps them at a place of indecision, not making a decision. Hmm. You may have not reached out to this person. Be running back to you let's get the advice for you Aries we know how they feel we know that they want to come back we know that they're they're in something that they want out of that it, it may take some time some energy some effort to get out of they want to know where you are in regards to what they should do seven of swords right now they're they're 100% 110% willing to sneak away to lie, to cheat, to be deceptive in their union with another person. Uh, because at this point they don't know where you are. It looks like if they do get to a place of knowing exactly how you feel about maybe forward movement. Then they'll, they'll make a decision. But it's like they're putting everything on you. Okay. All these cards just fell on the floor. No, 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 no. Okay. What is the advice for the Aries? What's the advice for the Aries? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see. Okay. Temperance. Wait. Be patient in knowing that a long desire wish will be fulfilled here it will come to fruition there could be a wealthy partnership or marriage happening in your social circle or for you the world know that this may be a new cycle for you you have walked into and we saw that for you you walked into a level of maturity to where nothing is no immature gestures or anything like that can really move you the hangman uh things may be moving along in the way that you know they should be but right now it might be a halt to or slow down of what is to come there's also there also may be sacrifice associated with this like I said, someone else, I don't feel like it's the Aries, could be, you get in the comments, let me know, has to sacrifice something that they thought was very valuable at one point in order to gain. So the Aries has to, or the other person has to sacrifice something. Three of Wands, because there is an air of expectancy. Somebody has to walk away from something that they were building or that they were actively doing, 
you know, trying to make work happen, be with, trying to get to the four of wands, trying to have accomplishment here. But it only, only to reduce it back down to the two of wands. Three of Wands, Two of Wands, because there is pettiness, there's indecision, there's competition, there is indecisiveness, there is drama, there could have been a third party, there is someone who plays child-like games, there is a love affair here. So whatever you were doing, Aries, with this person, you know, the dating, the, the courting, the running around with them and, you know, establishing the relationship but never really making it to the four of wands you you might have left this behind and now you're at a crossroads two of wands because i think this person returns yeah five of pentacles but there may be a lack of confidence king of wands on your part in regards to what it is this person wants or, or if you can grow with this person you're not sure if they have completely come out of that old way of doing things. Four of Swords says that you need to rest in prayer and meditation that will give you the answers. Uh, Seven of Wands, yeah, you'll have some psychic abilities heightened in regards to the opposite sex. Prosperity and success is here for you. Um, do know that. Also keep your guard up in regards to uh, maybe a King of Pentacles. Or, or in regards to your money, Queen of Cups, Princess, Prince of Swords, okay. You already know that somebody is staying in something out of obligation, maybe with a baby's mother or a wife or someone who has their children. They may come to you, you come to you and say this. Uh, they ultimately want to walk away. Eight of Cups and be like the fool the fool again we have the fool in the first spread um they're optimistic in their choice in choosing you maybe aries king of swords or some or some of you want to choose maybe someone else ten of swords tower oh jeez nine of wands ace of pentacles someone may be saying i gotta go to a lawyer I got to get all of this stuff straight in regards to this ending. Uh, the tower is here is saying that a challenge, an approaching challenge is here in a project or a relationship. How you deal with this situation is um, is is. is going to have some historical reference you've been here before think about what you did before do the complete opposite or you'll get the same outcome right because it says nine of wands ace of pentacles it's been a long time coming with this particular person or career You've learned a lot about yourself. You've matured. You are under some law and religion. Religion is just rule and regiment, doctrine for yourself, maybe, you know, whatever. Um, you have just really cultivated an air of sophistication and, and maturity. So you know what you deserve. And it's coming to you, Ace of Pentacles. This is either a large sum of money start of a new business engagement moving in together uh prince of wands yeah this is a move for some of you um have strength in knowing that whatever this is for you um, don't turn down any real offers right now nothing that can get you to where you want to be and rest in in your uh convictions for yourself knowing that it's going to land you where you want to be somebody may come in to help you in regards to something uh, Eight of Swords. Some of you don't like the idea of having a partner to get ahead. Having to... Yeah, you... It's like, I I want to... The Princess of Pentacles says, I, him, me. I want to be completely independent. Nine of Pentacles. I want to be self-sufficient. I want to 
have all these luxuries I want but some of you in order to get all these things you might have to partner with someone the will of fortune at the bottom of the deck wow the will of fortune this bottom of the deck too says that um your fortune is changing the wheel is turning maybe turning in yeah nice in a very good way this person damn it this person is in every deck looks like the chariot the, the knight of cups but it's a particular person coming in or king of swords for some of you that all of your dreams all their wishes can really come true with this person you have to be able to relinquish a little bit of this independence you may be the one needed to make the sacrifice um letting go to gain okay um aries we're gonna go over to the website and we're gonna ask the cards uh, what does it look like if the aries really relinquishes some of this this feistiness this this uh this ferocious independent nature ferociously independent like it's like some of you there is something here for you somebody can't read you energetically they don't know if um you'll let them take care of you oh wow okay let's go over to the website all right thank you guys um the link is below it's always two dollars 25 cents to get the extended reading you can also request your own personal reading if you feel like this reading resonated with you and you want to pull your own energy and say man that sounds like me i am ferociously independent maybe i should relinquish some of that i don't know all right so go over to the website thank you take care guys